Hello, this is World University and Schools News. And sorry, hello, this is World University and Schools monthly business meeting on third Saturdays. And this is June 17th, 2023 at 12 noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific time, US and Canada and I think it's 9.30 p.m. India time. This is an open meeting, and as we wait to see if people will join us here in this Zoom video for uh, an approach to monthly business meeting, which emerges partly from uh, unprogrammed friends, unprogrammed Quakers, um, that's open and listening and seeks to um, corporately find unity around um, items of business. As we wait to see if people will join us, I'd like to begin the monthly business meeting. I'm Scott McLeod, the presiding clerk and also the head and president and CEO of World University and School and the WUAS Corporation presently, which is for the academic press at World University and School, planned in 7,168 known living languages, and also for uh, the WUAS Physical Digital Educational Services stores in all 200 countries and in all 7,168 living languages. I'd like to begin by uh, sharing the email I sent to approximately 1,800 universitians on Thursday uh, with uh, an email to that begins, Dear Universitians, Bill Gates, Harvard Medical School's Professor of Genetics, George Church, Stanford Law Codex's Roland Vogel, friends all. Greetings, I hope this email finds you well. And please, here's an invitation to participate in the open hour long WUAS monthly business meeting today, right now, Saturday, 12 noon Eastern time uh, in Zoom video conferencing. Uh, World University and School is growing and is seeking to become the Harvard, MIT, Stanford, Oxbridge of the internet as large language models with generational conversational artificial intelligence in all 7,168 known living languages and in all 200 countries for free CC4 licensed MIT open courseware centric WUAS degrees, bachelor, PhD, law, MD, IB high school or similar, AA and master's degrees. And World University and School is also growing as a wiki, planned again in all 7,168 living languages and for open teaching and learning and people to people, free universal education in many ways. All the best, Scott G.K. McLeod. And there's a YouTube channel for World University and School, which is currently active with um, many of recent World University and School monthly business meeting recordings. YouTube.com forward slash at Scott McLeod World University forward slash videos. So World University and School has two wings. And as we wait to see if people will join us, I'd like to share first about the World University and School Wing, a 501c3 nonprofit uh, legal entity in the US and also a California legal entity as a nonprofit tax exempt. Um, and that's CC4 open courseware centric and wiki. And then later I'll share about the WUAS Corporation, which is a for-profit general stock company in the state of California. So two wings, 
and three legal entities. Agenda item one, World University and School is continuing to proceed with Middle States Commission on Higher Education accreditation and needs financial resources and a financial plan, especially. Uh, and this dates from an email from the Middle States Commission on Higher Education, MSCHE Accreditation Agency, and our contact there, Connie Clifton. Uh, President McLeod, thank you for your email regarding MISH accreditation. As the Director of Membership, I am happy to discuss any aspect of the, our process with you. I work with Diana Bonner, who has provided me with some context regarding her communications with you. Please do not misconstrue her explanation of our process as a green light for WS to pursue any type of licensure, authorization, or accreditation process outside of MISH. Representing her statements as such, uh, and this is developed into a kind of green light from Connie Clifton herself a um, few months later, interestingly. Um, so World University and School uh, has to apply for MISH accreditation to be eligible to do so uh, an institution must be able to demonstrate that it meets the following pre-applicant minimum requirements, which World University and School does, except that we don't have a financial plan yet. Uh, and we don't have the monies to pay the fees, uh, for example, uh, to MISH for a pre-application uh, fund, uh, pre-application uh, process, and then for um, the application for candidacy as well and uh, World University and School is seeking these. So um, on May 4th, Connie Clifton, our contact at Middle States Commission on Higher Education emails further, like any other institution, WUAS can start the pre-application process if it needs the minimum, if it meets the minimum eligibility requirements. Keep in mind that the entire process to become accredited usually takes more than two years. I would also like to draw your attention to minimum eligibility uh, requirement and world university and schools in communication with this, with middle states about all these. Uh, please see the blog posts for the these emails from middle states commission on higher education further. Item 1A, uh, so World University and School is focusing on accreditation and uh, this is in a tweet uh, and some blog posts from Monday 6-12-2023 with some video recordings, uh, with a video recording to the currently active World University and School YouTube channel. And also this month, that past Monday, we were asking about immortality, uh, asking what Harvard and MIT professor of, George, of genetics, George Church, means by immortality and regarding his heralding of aging reversal. So uh, check out uh, the video recording of the WS News in Question and Answer on June 12th, 2023 in the youtube.com forward slash Scott McLeod World University forward slash videos uh, YouTube site. Item 1B, Middle States Commission on Higher Education. WES needs money and a business plan, financial plan regarding the next WES step in accreditation with the Middle States Commission on Higher Education with offices in the greater Philadelphia area. Item 1C, as World University and School seeks 1,000 students for free two-year and four-year WUAS AA and bachelor degrees uh, regarding WUAS accreditation, could we draw from Google's uh, pool of certification seekers 
they recently have developed a new, a relatively new program for seekers of a Google certification who might then possibly get employed by Google after completing this certification. Could we draw from such Google's cert seekers and also uh, Googlers as well? Uh, an interesting possible source of uh, students for free bachelor's degrees, free AA degrees uh, around MIT OpenCourseWare centric world university and school. Could uh, such uh, um, a thousand students seeking free four year WS bachelor's degrees um, also draw from Google's completers of the course CS First with Google at World University and School, which is a free open course learning the Scratch programming language online available now. And with it, you can begin to matriculate into World University and School for free degrees. So Googlers seeking cert, um, could they take this course also to matriculate into World University and School? And could Googlers also at, uh, I think Google employs something like 170,000 people, um, take uh, study for World University and School degrees at the master's and PhD level from home and in all 200 countries and in their official languages. Uh, for free MIT OpenCourseWare centric degrees with uh, MIT OpenCourseWare's uh, great focus on computer science and programming and other STEM subjects. So agenda item two, uh, the WUAS board, board of directors, board of trustees. World University and School is seeking to uh, develop our board uh, significantly and is seeking active board members. And check out the World University Foundation page, wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash world underscore university underscore foundation. Uh, item 2A, dear Bill Gates, would you be able please to join the World University and School Board and help to get World University and School financially operational, especially. Uh, and regarding the World University and School Foundation. Item 2A, I, 2A1. WS seeks to create and employ 2.5 million people uh, all at the same time. Might take 50 or 75 years um, and create thus um, that many jobs or careers and in all 200 countries and in all 7,168 known living languages, potentially in outer space and in uh, under oceans as well, uh, and on both WUAS wings, where both wings are legal entities in California. And you can see these tax ID numbers and related on the worlduniversityandschool.org page and on the WS Corporation page, the worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash academicpress.html page to get a sense of how these uh, two legal entities in California and a third legal entity in the USA all work together and these two web pages are one the nonprofit and the other the very beginning of the for-profit general stock company in California. So item 2B, Bill Gates, all. WUAS is also seeking to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata pin number here at wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash u underscore at underscore world underscore university. And emerging from WUAS seeking to code for speakers of all 7,000 plus languages, known living languages in their 200 countries, 
and one as wiki teachers and learners for people to people free universal education and two to end poverty potentially by distributing a single main cryptocurrency such as stanford mind pi cryptocurrency to most of all the people on the planet uh, as well as to distribute or facilitate the building of infrastructure and uh hardware too, such as smartphones and the internet. And three, also potentially for 7.9 billion avatar bot electronic medical records uh, at the street view level, the cellular level, and the molecular level. Uh, so the WS Corporation, our second WUS wing, uh, would in the process seek to list Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency uh, and WS has a partnering email from the Pi Network organization on the new Silicon Valley long-term stock exchange and possibly in a dual stock listing on NASDAQ or similar so that all 200 nation states, central banks and pension funds and banks and individuals and others could also buy into the WUAS Corporation for their nation's emerging main cryptocurrency. Perhaps 1 billion of the 7.9 billion people on the planet would buy into the WS Corporation. And while the other 7 billion people on the planet would receive Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency as universal basic income experiments or similar. And this also, Bill Gates and all, uh, would uh, emerge as the Silicon Valley Long-Term Stock Exchange and Stanford Mind Pi Network organization themselves uh, develop their relationships with the California Franchise Tax Board. So I think you, Bill Gates, would have a great sense of how to facilitate this and grow this uh, as business plan and potentially in all 200 countries. So item 2C, Bill Gates, in looking online, I found the following regarding the Gates Foundation. Quote, we provide funding to organizations to achieve measurable impact in the fight uh, against poverty, end quote. And uh, World University and Schools potentially distributing Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency free money daily uh, via smartphones to all 7.9, most of all 7.9 billion people on the planet would certainly be a way to fight against poverty and uh, certainly measurable with great, great, great precision um, because of the internet and smartphones and Stanford Mind Pi's uh, cryptocurrencies algorithms and its uh, Pi applications and platform. So found Bill Gates' email address, bill.gates at gatesfoundation.org on the web. And how might World University and School begin to explore communicating further about seeking to end poverty worldwide? So item 2D and World University and School in our two blogs have a UBI label and a U at World University at U at WUS label, excuse me. Um, and see the World University and School wiki subject page, U at World University 2, which is, I hope, where coding for all 7.9 billion people on the planet uh, will emerge from or become uh, interoperable with. Uh, 2D. Uh, Canyon 94516 on 9123, and for a WUS academic medical center, and with virtual carbon warm water cure and a physical digital WUAS uh, longevity genetics institute. 
Um, in an email partly about this, dear Roland Vogel at Sanford Law Codex, uh, Alan Alden Briscoe of Brakeley Briscoe in San Mateo, California, Bill Gates, Peter Norvig, a director of research at Google and distinguished education fellow at the Stanford Institute for Human-Centered AI, Ed Smythe, MD, John Sargent, MD, Byron Hahn, MD, near Canyon, 94516, uh, Jane McLeod, uh, Susan Davis Klaus, Pin Sid Mazumdar, Nick Thompson, Esquire, Sean Flaherty, Esquire, all. Uh, greetings, Roland. Thanks so much for inviting announcements and asks in Stanford Law Codex meetings on Thursdays at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, thanks for the ongoing invitations to Stanford Law Codex meetings. And thanks for Tom Martin's presentation about his AI chatbot, LawDroid, at Codex in 2017, which wrote the WUAS Corporation's Articles of Incorporation in about 10 minutes, and which made it possible to create World University and Schools Second Wing, a for-profit general stock company legal entity in the state of California with remarkable potential synergies between WUAS's two wings in 200 countries and in 7,000 plus languages with large language models, AI, machine learning, all especially. Uh, as you may have been reading, Roland, Alden has recently declined to become chair of the WS board. And I'm writing with some further asks, please in advance of a recent Codex meeting. And I and WS have also yet to hear back from Bill Gates regarding WS's uh, inquiry into him becoming potentially the chair of the WS board. Item 2E, would you uh, be available please, Roland, to join the WS board and possibly to become chair of the board if Bill Gates were to write that WS could include him as a WUAS trustee, but that he couldn't become chair of the WS board, for example. Item 2F, and would it be possible for you and I to collaborate, please, in generating an active WUAS board out of Stanford Law Codex participants, for example, for one, and much with your guidance, Roland. Item 2G, also Roland and all, WUS is seeking a, a business plan, financial plan and monies to begin the Middle States Commission on Higher Education education process with offices in the state of Pennsylvania, where I am presently in asylum, I would say, but I'm seeking to move back into a newly safe Canyon 94516 in the East Bay Hills of the San Francisco Bay Area on 9123. Could you suggest ways in which WS could develop a WS business plan, financial plan? And to begin, please, the accreditation process further with a pre application to Middle States Commission on Higher Education. Before I move out of this asylum place in Western Pennsylvania on July 31st, 2023. Uh, Will uh, I ex explored sharing some of uh, these questions and asks in a recent Stanford Law Codex meeting? And thanks so much. Best regards and see you soon, Scott. Uh, item 2H, a chair of the WS board, Roland Vogel, executive director of Stanford Law, Law Codex, who hasn't yet been chairman of a board that I can see, uh, would you be possibly available, please? Item 2i, um, and would you please join the WUAS board? St recent Stanford Law Codex presenters, Gorsha Sur, Kirill Igomenshev, and Anthony Noves from Sweden, from Russia, and from Brazil. 
Uh, thank you for your excellent Stanford Law Codex presentations recently. And to Jay, in doing so, Gorsha Sur and Kirill Igomenchev and Anthony Noves, might you potentially also seek to develop MIT open courseware centric wiki world university and schools in the countries you are from and in their main languages for free online MIT open courseware centric bachelor, PhD, law, MD, IB high school, similar AA and master's degrees. Uh, and World University and School is planning to grow major online MIT open courseware centric universities in all 200 nation states and in all known living languages with large language models, 7,168 known living languages. And item 2K regarding this WUAS board agenda item, um, might we get uh, WUS intern board members. And even with this nomination, the following nomination form, uh, which is uh, a Reed College alumni board nomination form, that could be helpful to nominate intern board members. I posted this to the Reed College switchboard headquarters, um, inquiring if one Reed student would be available to become a board member and also uh, asking for intern boards members from uh, the Reed community, uh, potentially either uh, students near graduation or uh, alumni. Uh, agenda item three, WUAS robotics education and Toyota collaboration in 170 Toyota countries. And this is to Charles Carter, a technician at Toyota in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Item 3A, how soon could WUS universities begin to offer Toyota employees free AA, bachelor, master's, and PhD WUAS degrees and other training to become Toyota THR3 humanoid robots, technicians, beginning with WUAS Lego Robotics and with the CS First with Google at World University and School Programming Course. Uh, an interesting possibility for people like Charles and all of his coworkers at this Toyota uh, Pittsburgh uh, Center. Item 3B, uh, Charles responded to my email and I uh, in turn uh, wrote back, here's a cool free computer programming course, CS First with Google at World University and School, which people are using to matriculate into CC4 licensed MIT open courseware centric World University and School already. Check it out. And please let your coworkers know and check out the Wikitree genealogy website too, wikitree.com, and add your eight generations. Uh, Charles Carter has uh, an email, Charles Car Carter the Eighth, uh, at an email account, um, and and add your eight generations to check them out on your own when you get the information back from the genealogical research he's doing he's having done uh, to examine these eight generations questions. Uh, and PS, um, here are World University and Schools active Twitters. And in a related vein and responding to a Wall Street Journal article on um, even a Toyota technician, uh, how could, here's, a, here's the tweet, how could World University and School get uh, a student's number, which uh, is something like 62% of students in the US, maybe high school students are going on to college, to grow above 70%. Uh, 
besides free to students online WUS higher education degrees from home and highest quality emerging fun WUAS AI courses, such as the CS First with Google at WUS. And with an invitation to play with WUS Lego Robotics. And Lillian Thomas had retweeted this article. Uh, more high school graduates are being diverted from college by brighter job prospects in blue collar roles. Lillian Thomas is a, a Wall Street Journal uh, chief of the uh, middle states in the USA as a writer and editor. And further to Charles, 3C, um, World University and School's uh, open monthly business meeting is today, and you're welcome to come. And regarding our wikis, open schools, if you'd like to wiki teach at World University and School to YouTube or similar, for example, about electric and hybrid vehicles, uh, which is a little bit like teaching is a little bit like writing or editing a Wikipedia article, please click edit this page, <laughs> excuse me, and teach away. Uh, it's a wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash electric underscore and underscore hybrid underscore vehicles. And it's accessible from um, the main wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash subjects. Some related thinking, and especially regarding Toyota humanoid robotics and upcoming Toyota THR3's humanoid robots, potentially in Pittsburgh, a tweet. Uh, how soon could WS universities begin to offer Toyota employees free AA bachelor's, master's, and PhD WS degrees and other training to become uh, THR3 Toyota humanoid robot technicians? Um, I've explored this earlier today. Um, would Charles be interested in such a free online bachelor or AA degree at World University and School? And in conjunction with the Toyota Center he works at in Pittsburgh. Agenda item four. Uh, this is uh, Sachi Shah, who's uh, sister Janie Shaw was on the WS board for a while. Uh, they are both Wellesley graduates, and Sachi has a Harvard MBA, and we recently connected on uh, a social media site. And she works now in San Francisco at SEMGREP. And uh, reaching out to Sachi, Sachi Shaw might... Uh, SEMGREP have a focus on the Scratch programming language out of the MIT Media Lab and Harvard Graduate School of Education. And uh, in what ways could uh, her and Janie Shaw's connections with India further facilitate possibly offering this CS First with Google at World University and School course um, and with Lego Robotics, potentially in India. Um, agenda item five. So World University and School Medical Schools and Aging Reversal and Longevity Genetics Research. What does immortality mean? Immortality, what does George Church mean? Um, at eight minutes in a YouTube video interview on his theory of aging. So what does he mean? Uh, what does George Church mean by immortality and regarding potentially Google Street View, Google Cell View, Google Molecule View with Time Slider and regarding pictures of molecules in a Princeton Engineering article and videos of cells in a Harvard Gazette article and Street View 
images of mice uh, in a Harvard Medical School article. How could immortality be developed coding-wise, computer science-wise, by bringing the Google Street View with Google Cell View, with Google Molecule View, with Time Slider, and all these levels of size and scale, molecule cells and street view together, and even in uh, avatar bot electronic medical records on the digital side, as George Church continues to uh, lead the uh, research process on the physical side, uh, primarily, I think, on uh, lab bench work, for example. So um, could it mean as much as uh, a million years um, and how, what data to draw on uh, in beginning to um, code, say, a physical digital Google Street View and avatar bot electronic medical records um, platform for immortality. How much data to use Veer and Jane, Stardazed, from an individual's data, uh, say with film to three apps from an individual into their avatar bot electronic medical records at the molecule, molecular cell or street view levels, and how much Homo sapiens species data uh, to add from data sources, databases, and to inform aging reversal longevity and adding genes um, from potentially the virtual side into people's bodies, back into people's body minds and uh, encoding for immortality, potentially on the virtual side in this, say, physical, digital, Google Street View avatar bot electronic medical records platform. Um, could it mean item 5J, um, an eternal human living forever? So 1 million years? More? Who knows? Um, and there's a tweet about this, immortality. Check out the recording of John, please. And I am wondering what Harvard and MIT professor of genetics, George Church means by immortality in this uh, video on his theory of aging at about the eight minute mark. And um, could this mean a million years? So agenda item six, uh, Peter Norvig and Artificial Intelligence Education, a tweet about this regarding a Stanford uh, human artificial intelligence talk he gave last October 5th, 2022, uh, which video is in the World University and School blog posts. Check it out. But the tweet reads, Peter Norvig, Education for AI and by AI, 10522 at Stanford's Human Centered Artificial Intelligence Center, High Center. In what ways can MIT Open Courseware Centric Wiki World University and School in Google Education since 2015 grow with large language models in 200 countries and main languages? Uh, check out this uh, remarkable video. Agenda item seven, um, and this is about uh, individual countries becoming world university and schools as offering in, in offering MIT open courseware centric free degrees. Um, and even with 200 WS law schools. So regarding Brazil and Sweden and Russia and Iran and Ecuador and China, uh, see these 
uh, items in the business uh, meeting agenda. Uh, there are interesting um, different wiki schools already begun and uh, in what ways could uh, World University and School grow in China, for example, with MIT Open Courseware centric uh, MIT Open Courseware courses that have been translated into Chinese at China World University and School. Uh, wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash China. Uh, and in the Mandarin language, Chinese. Uh, so you'll see a variety of courses on the MIT Open Courseware page in Chinese from anthropology to biological engineering uh, to engineering systems division to uh, the Sloan School of Management. Uh, check these out in Chinese. We would like to offer these toward freed online degrees. And how could Gorsha Sur and Kirill Igumenchev and uh, Anthony Noves begin world university and schools in Brazil, in Portuguese, in Russia, in uh, the Russian language, and in Sweden, in the Swedish language? Agenda item eight, um, the WUAS Google Bard, which is generative AI conversation uh, platform with parallels to chat GPT and some recent scholarly inquiries. Uh, we're getting a little low on time, but uh, it offered uh, in coming into conversation with Google Bar Generative AI, um, I found a whole series of new approaches to potentially creating a new bagpiping musical form. And for doing research with the new Google Bard with visuals into an object, an art object in the Carnegie Museum of Art uh, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which uh, dates from the early 1500s. What's its history? Uh, does it represent um, even uh, the end of a uh, kind of Celtic sovereignty in Northwest France, in Brittany, 1500 years ago? And this replica in the Carnegie Museum of Art, this is uh, art history, um, was made in the early 1900s, and Andrew Carnegie himself uh, seems to have procured it. There seems to be one other replica in the Louvre Museum, and its original uh, is in a cathedral in Nantes, Nantes France. Interesting uh, knowledge gleaned for, from coming into conversation with Google Bard with visuals regarding uh, this interesting object of art. Agenda item nine, um, World University and School uh, Geospatial, Google Geospatial Creator Augmented Reality for STEM field sites and ethno wiki virtual world graphy and VR headsets uh, for iterating WUAS brain research, virtual soaking in iterating hot springs and uh, with Google Street View with Time Slider. Um, and will the new emerging headset in 2024, the Apple Vision Pro VR headset, um, and will Apple itself and all these other companies and makers of headsets uh, be digitizing Harbin Hot Springs as a, a site to visit virtually and a field site, a STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, brain science field site uh, from the headset itself, the VR headset itself, uh, last after uh, many companies making VR headsets may go out and digitize, for example, other hot springs for visiting in virtual reality uh, from one's home, from one's home bathtub even. Um, lots of creative possibilities. Item 
moving ahead in the remaining 15 minutes. Um, Item 10, um, the WS News and question and answer meetings on Mondays at 10 a.m. Uh, are continuing and they're open. 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time, 7.30 p.m. India time. I think it's 3 p.m. Western European time. Recordings are in this WS monthly business meeting agenda and news. They're also on the active YouTube channel, check them out. Item 11, uh, further WS Lego Robotics, WS Home Robotics, and for free MIT Open Courseware centric World University and School STEAM degrees from home, where WS Corporation is an authorized carrier of three Lego Robotics kits. Um, have made a homemade gorilla robot and video of this uh, from Lego We Do 2.0, and it walks, vocalizes, snores, and eats bananas. Um, could it become uh, a human? And could it also become uh, any, start doing any number of tasks so that? Um, our young people, for example, could start to make robots from a young age. And could this homemade gorilla robot become an archaeologist, for example, or a physician or a surgeon? Um, interesting set of possibilities with Lego robotics kits. Item number 12. Um, so WUAS and humanoid robots and the Toyota THR3 and other Toyota humanoid robots in particular, uh, how to begin to develop with uh, humanoid robots at World University and School, and in particular with the THR3. Could our graduate students, our PhD students, eventually even get a THR3 in the home? And could World University and School begin to produce, create graduates at all levels to service all these amazing humanoid robots at World University and School in 200 countries with Toyota Global in 170 countries um, and Toyota may well uh, provide some approaches to servicing their Toyota THR3s, but there's uh, so much potential with humanoid robotics that uh, World University and School graduating uh, PhDs and master degrees and um, bachelor and AA degrees may well be able to complement Toyota's um, humanoid robotic approach in 170 countries where World University and School seeks to be in 200 countries. And in what ways could uh, World University and School also um, begin to develop these in um, a realistic virtual earth for robotics, a realistic virtual earth for Lego, a realistic virtual earth for Lego robotics. So as simulations to further develop the um, physical with the digital. And there's a list of the top 20 robots uh, per one article here in this agenda item 12. Um, I'll see if I can read their names. Um, let me see. Not finding them at this moment. Um, check out the World University and School uh, 
monthly business meeting agenda. So could, as to close the world university and school uh, aspect of this uh, world university and school monthly business meeting and regarding humanoid robotics and even with the THR3, um, could world university and school facilitate a physical digital realistic virtual earth for archeology, span which is a branch of anthropology. I think Google Street View with Time Slider and with a realistic virtual earth for robotics. Um, and both WUS humanoid robotics, um, such as the Toyota humanoid robots, THR3s for archeology span and WS Lego robotics and uh, facilitate their exploring, for example, undiscovered Scotland. And there's a tweet from Undiscovered Scotland uh, regarding the ramparts of Chester's Hill Fort in East Lothian. This Iron Age fortified village dates back some 2000 years and is believed to have comprised a number of roundhouses comprising the fairly extensive upper area of the hill. Could World University and School working with Toyota focus THR3s, humanoid robots, to become archeologists perhaps uh, diverging from uh, Toyota's uh, focus on uh, robots that THR3s that could be of help around the home and um, to begin to diversify the programming and the artificial intelligence of such humanoid robots. And with Toyota Robotics, in their 170 countries and with archaeology, for example, and in a realistic virtual earth for archaeology and for robotics, uh, could we uh, find our way virtually into exploring this, these ramparts of Chester's Hill Fort in East Lothian, Scotland, and also as Scotland itself begins to explore the use of Toyota humanoid robots as archeologists. Uh, this is the direction World University and School would seek to grow in. So in the remaining eight minutes, uh, I'm gonna change uh, focus to our other WUS wing, the WS Corporation, WS Press, and agenda item A or one, um, in what ways could WUS and Toyota Robotics collaborations and regarding the Toyota THR3 and other Toyota humanoid robots, and even with the Toyota Pro Ace electric camping van as two autonomous systems um, begin to uh, be something that World University and School could offer PhDs and masters and bachelor degrees and AA degrees, uh, not only in order to service these, uh, but in order to develop them uh, innovatively, creatively, and in all 200 countries uh, for a whole variety of reasons. Uh, and these um, Toyota THR3s and the Toyota Pro Ace Electric camping van uh, would co complement each other. Uh, in terms of energy sources and uh, AI coding uh, and in all sorts of ways. And in a related vein, agenda item A1, uh, in what ways could World University and School even facilitate Toyota Proace electric camping vans as student homes, faculty homes too, uh, for field work, for example, and even with a sit down shower, a module that uh, people might uh, add to their Toyota Pro Ace electric camping vans, which inside and in the back are only about five feet high. So these, would these be sit down showers, for example, um, so that uh, 
these Toyota Pro Ace electric camping vans would both get great mile per gallon equivalent fuel efficiency. Uh, around 39 miles per gallon equivalent is projected, um, as well as uh, a shower. Could Toyota make such a sit down shower module or uh, could World University and School or would uh, people have to convert their own vans? And would the Toyota Pro Ace uh, electric camping vans be plumbed for, for example, a shower um, and similar? Uh, this would be an amazing set of developments um, for World University and Schools students and faculty, for example. Agenda item B, um, Stanford Mind Pi Cryptocurrency Free Money Daily required me to create a password uh, in the middle of this past week, Wednesday evening, I think, in order to continue to mine Pi Cryptocurrency every 24 hours. What, what is developing security-wise with Stanford mine pie cryptocurrency in these regards, that their whole system has added a, a layer of security for people mining pie every 24 hours, such as myself. Uh, item, agenda item B, uh, 1A. So Stanford mine pie cryptocurrency and partnering with WS um, in WS planning to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata pin number. We have a letter, uh, potentially, we have a letter of partnering from Stanford MindPy. Uh, we're, it's also possible to get Stanford MindPy uh, free money daily uh, with this URL and invitation code, uh, mindpy.com forward slash SGKMAC. And you can use SGKMAC as your invitation code. And could Stanford MindPy be also used uh, to in a realistic virtual Earth, uh, say for genetics or for biology, for molecules and cell science too? Um, interesting. Uh, agenda item B two, uh, also relating to Stanford, possibly to Stanford MindPy cryptocurrency. WUAS lost the use of an email address and account recently, info at worlduniversityandschool.org, um, which is in the Google Education workspace. So it's in a way a Google email address and is wondering why. And in WS planning to code for everyone on the planet, each a Wikidata pin number, in part to distribute Stanford MindPy cryptocurrency uh, and to end poverty for all 7.9 billion people, as responsible artificial intelligence, could info at worlduniversityandschool.org email account workspace have become disabled um, because a old worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash web WordPress site has been spamming info at worlduniversityandschool.org which uh, database site, worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash web, I've been locked out and so can't correct this. I've been locked out of it for years. And I've inquired, and after inquiring, after I've inquired with Peter Norvig and Lydia Pincher, the Wikidata product manager, and Ed Smythe, MD, the chief medical officer at MIT OpenCourseWare-centric Wiki World University and School, and MIT Digital Currency Initiative Director Niha Naryala. Um, could Google itself be uh, turning this uh, constellation of accounts, info at worlduniversityandschool.org, uh, worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash web, uh, and our you at World University and School wiki page into a beginning approach to code for all 7.9 billion people and to distribute a single 
mine pi cryptocurrency to most of all people on the planet in uh, 200 countries? And could a whole group of coders from a variety of different organizations, um, Google Education regarding this email account, Alphabet, their parent company, Wikidata, Wikimedia, Stanford Mind Pie, various US federal banks, et cetera, be creating IT infrastructure for WUS Stanford Mind Pie to become a near universal cryptocurrency in 200 countries. And even so, the, the WS Corporation could list uh, Stanford Mind Pie on the new Silicon Valley long term stock exchange, uh, in a sense, through the WS Corporation, so that people could. Um, buy Stanford Mind Pie, as well as mine it every day, every 24 hours, and get five to six Pi coin uh, every day, every 24 hours. Uh, so just three more agenda items. Agenda item C, uh, this is also momentous, I think. Thank you orders at Lego. Patrick, Jesper Anderson, Karsten Rasmussen, Soren Jorgensen, Peter Norvig, Roland Vogel, all for the opportunity for the WS Educational Services stores to quote, purchase hands-on STEAM learning solutions that grow with the students. And we received uh, a site and a webpage with which to proceed, World University and School and the WS Corporation and our bookstores, computer stores, robotics stores, Lego robotics stores, physical and digital, don't yet have the monies to get such uh, Lego robotics kits yet as an authorized reseller, but uh, we now have the website through which I think we can begin to facilitate to uh, do this with Lego. Um, that the WS Corporation can begin to offer uh, Lego robotics kits um, in the U.S. and possibly in other countries as we develop our physical digital store and a physical, digital, realistic, virtual earth for Lego robotics, hopefully even. Agenda item D, uh, this is also uh, thinking in terms of physical digital stores and in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and around even Lego robotics stores, WUS Lego robotics stores. Um, in what ways, brainstorming wise, could we develop a WS midsize physical WS Lego robotics outlet, and two, a WS large, WS robotics managed, WUS educational services store, potentially one on um, Walnut Street in the shopping area of sh the community of Shadyside in Pittsburgh, a nice shopping area. Uh, and the other possibly in a recently closed Walmart in the Waterworks Mall. Uh, could that become robotics managed? Uh, could it become a large world university and school uh, physical digital educational services store? Something world university and school would like to proceed with. There's some pictures of uh, the shady side possible sites for stores for World University and School for the WS Corporation. Uh, but we don't have the monies yet, for example, to uh, grow these um, yet. And the last agenda item, agenda item E, um, how could a realistic virtual earth for genetics in one realistic virtual earth, think Google Street View with Time Slider, Google Maps, Google Earth, TensorFlow AI, and at the cellular and molecule levels too, help boost uh, the value of potential genetics engineering to quadrillions of dollars of value. Eric Schmidt, former CEO of Google and Apple, George Church, Harvard and MIT, Professor of Genetics uh, in 200 countries. And there's a Twitter post from Eric Schmidt uh, concerning the potential for billions of dollars of growth with uh, a realist, with um, genetics engineering. And 
World University and School is wondering how a realistic virtual Earth for genetics, so the virtual side, um, developed in so many different ways, even with Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency, uh, could create quadrillions of dollars of value uh, in 200 countries in outer space, in the oceans, similar. Uh, so that's the World University and School Monthly Business Meeting for June 17th, 2023. Uh, I'm Scott McLeod. I'll post this to the World University and School's YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Scott McLeod, World University, S-C-O-T-T-M-A-C-L-E-O-D-W-O-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y. And also to the Twitters, twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V, A-N-D, S-C-H, twitter.com forward slash W-U-A-S, P-R-E-S-S. Uh, meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org is our website. The Twitters are much more active for World University and School than our homepage, worlduniversityandschool.org. Uh, until next monthly business meeting in third week of July. I'm Scott McLeod. See you soon. The next WS News and Question and Answer is this Monday, June 19th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. You're welcome to come join that as well. Uh, stay tuned to Twitter for uh, how to access it. Bye for now.